Hello everyone and welcome back to the Linux hands-on video series. Since the past three weeks, we've uncovered a lot of intricacies about the Linux operating system. And it's finally the time to wrap this series off with something really cool and exciting. In this video, we'll just focus on the Easter eggs and tricks. So make sure you buckle up because this is going to be one hell of a ride. There's a companion blog post that's going to be linked in the description below for reference. So in case you get stuck or you need a deeper explanation, make sure you refer that. With that being said, let's get started without any more delays. All right, folks. So since the past three weeks, I've hopefully marinated your brain with all the Linux goodness that you could ever want. But like every other good thing, this also must come to an end. So we're gonna wrap up this series, but on a very exciting note. This part is going to be all about the Linux Easter eggs. So if this is your first time here, I would highly recommend you to check out part one, two and three before jumping into part four. Links to all of these parts and their companion blog posts would be in the description below. This is the final one and I'm going to make sure that this is going to be the most fun one yet. So let's get started. So apart from being popular for being freely available, Linux is also quite popular for its unusual attraction to cows. And if you are a little observant and keen to find out, you might come across mention of cows every now and then. So instead of exploring the entire source code and the operating system, we're just going to limit our scope to the terminal. On Linux, to install a binary or a program, we mostly use the apt-get command. apt, which stands for advanced packaging tools, is used to install updates and utilities. And it's almost like a package manager, which you will find on Python. But if you're curious enough, you'll find a good number of Easter eggs in apt-get. So if you go ahead and issue the help command on apt-get, on the very last line, you'll notice that it says, this apt has a super cow powers. Now, if you don't know what that means is, it's basically a pointer to one of their Easter eggs. So now if I go ahead and type apt-get moo, uh, a cow should come up and it says have you moved today this is definitely not the only place where you're gonna find a cow reference but this is one of the first places now there was a reason why I started off with the app get Easter egg uh, it's because if this is your first time trying out this Easter egg uh, the terminal might prompt you to install the binaries for these commands which you will see in just a minute so now that we have unleashed one of the first cows in the Linux operating system, let's make it talk to us. So to do that, we're going to use the cow say command and its usage is pretty simple. You just have to type in cow say followed by the message. So I'm just going to say hello. And if I hit enter, uh, you can see the terminal prompt me that the program cow say is currently not installed and I can install it by typing apt install cow say. So let's do that, apt install cow say and let's hit enter. And now the terminal will ask me if I want to continue. So let's say yes. And in just about a second or two, we have cow say installed. So let's clear this out and let's go ahead through the command history and issue the command again. So now if I issue the cow say command, you can see the cow is saying hello. Pretty cool, right? So just like every other Linux command, cowsay also comes with a couple of options which you can go ahead and find using the man command. But for the sake of brevity, I'm going to leave that exploration to you. So let's keep moving and clear the terminal out. Cool. So our ASCII cow friend was so far just able to blurt out the messages that we supplied. But wouldn't it be crazy cool to have it do something more intelligent? How about we make it tell our fortune? Now I definitely can't bet on the accuracy of the prediction but I can bet that this is gonna help you lighten the mood a little bit. So here's how you ask the ASCII cow to tell your fortune. So to do that we're gonna use the fortune command if I can type that out and we're gonna pipe the output to cow say. Now let's hit enter 
and as you can see it just gave out a random code you can create your own opportunities this week blackmail a senior executive awesome uh, let's try that out again and it came out with another one so although it's pretty fun to have the cow come up with uh, random quotes it's really important that we understand what's going on here so the fortune command is basically a standalone command which you can issue from the terminal just by typing fortune and it will return a random quote with the previous execution what we did was we used the output of the fortune command and served it as an input to cause so that is done using the pipe operator and if you've been watching this series you might be aware of the redirection operator which used the output of a command as the input to a text file or any other file for that matter this is similar in execution to that concept again if this was the first time you were running this command the terminal might have pointed you out to install fortune so you can go ahead and do that using apt install now seeing the linux community's affinity towards cows you might have been wondering if there are other tools which have these kind of easter eggs to save the trouble of exploration i'm just going to answer yes they do and we're just going to explore a couple more uh, out here so just like aptget aptitude is another package manager again if i can type it out and it is basically a more user friendly version of the apt version so if i go ahead and man the aptitude command you can see it's a high level interface to the package manager now again covering aptitude is beyond the scope of this video so i'm just going to leave the exploration again in your hands but we're just going to focus on the easter egg now if i go ahead and repeat the moon command with aptitude you see the terminal says there are no easter eggs in this program and i find that hard to believe so what we're going to do is we're going to try to be a little more persistent with this command. So let's go through the command history again and this time let's try out the verbose flag along with moo. And as you can see it says there are really no easter eggs in this program. So we can be pretty sure that this is hiding out something. So I'm going to try out one more time and yeah the way it's reacting it definitely means that there's something hidden out here so let's keep trying out until it gives in all right it wants me to stop and okay if i give you an easter egg will you go away sure uh, and as you can see it returned a random image let's see if it can tell what this ascii image is oh all right so there's there's some dark humor going on here so now that we have this one covered, uh, let's move along. Okay, so let me start this next one by stating uh, an obvious assertion that I'm pretty sure that almost all of us have tried to pull out a brag uh, in front of a friend or tried impressing somebody by typing out some random stuff onto the terminal and have it print out something cool, haven't we? That's one way of going about it, but, but wouldn't it be cool to broaden our scope beyond the ls and ping command because i'm pretty sure that those commands are not going to take you too far so let's step up the game and pretend to be a real pro so to do that we are going to use the nmap command along with the minus o s flag and then we are going to supply in a url so let's go ahead and do google.com and what this is going to do is print out a log in the lead speak format so if you're not aware about what lead speak is, I'm going to leave a link in the description where you can read more about it, but it's sort of a uh, lingo in the hacker community. And as you can see, it says nmap done, one IP address, one host up, scanned in 19.4 seconds. It's not going to take you that long to figure out how to read lead speak. Uh, while this command is definitely for demonstration purposes and is fun, I'm going to advise you not to take NMAC for granted. It's a very powerful tool which is used for some really advanced stuff like port scanning and penetration testing and basically any wireless attack that you might think of. So if you're more inclined towards the security side of things, this is one of the most used tool in that community. So I'll highly recommend that you definitely should go ahead and read up more about Nmap and other such utilities. Cool. So let's move along and keep things going. 
All right, so, so far, whatever we've typed on the terminal has been pretty gray. I'm not talking about the mood, I'm talking about the literal color. It's all been gray. So if I go ahead and type out ls minus l, uh, you can see apart from this light blue tint for the file name, there's not really much that the terminal offers. So to change all of that, we are going to use a command called lolcat, which is going to add some really poppy colors and gradients to our terminal outputs. Uh, again, if this is the first time uh, trying out the lolcat command, the terminal is going to prompt you to install it first. So make sure you do that. And like other commands in the past, we're going to pipe the output of one command into lolcat. So let's say I'm going to type in the fortune command and we're going to pipe the output to the lolcat command. And as you can see, there's a really cool gradient going on in the terminal. Uh, this can be done on any command. So if I type in ls minus l and then pipe the output to lolcat, uh, you can see the output has a cool gradient going on with it. So I'm going to go ahead and clear it and let's type in fortune, pipe the output to gause and pipe the final output to lolcat. And as you can see, now we have a gradient cow that predicts the future or gives us a random code. So I find this pretty cool as it does add a little bit of spice to your terminal commands. Cool, let's keep moving forward. Let's clear out the terminal and let's check out the next command. So oftentimes you'll run into situations where you want to type something, but you end up typing something totally different. Like I misspell the git command all the time. Most commands will probably scream at you if you type it incorrectly or give you suggestion for the incorrect commands but some of them have easter eggs built into them so one of the most common commands people use for file navigation and directory management is the ls command so to list out directories you just type ls but what happens if you misspell this so if i go ahead and type sl you can see a steam locomotive runs across my screen. So this is a really cool Easter egg that's built into the terminal, which gives you a fun little prompt if you accidentally mistype the command. And what's even more interesting is that it comes with its own options. So if I go ahead and do a man on SL, you can see it has a couple of options, uh, but here we're just going to check out the minus L option. So let's quit and type in SL minus L. And you can see we have a smaller locomotive running across the screen. Cool. All right. So this next one is going to be for the fans of the force. This is not basically an Easter egg for the command, but rather a connection that you establish to a server using the particular command. So I'm talking about the telnet command. And if you man it out, it says that it's an interface to the telnet protocol. So using the telnet protocol, we are going to type in the web address for screening the Star Wars episode 4. So you can check that out on the link in the description and paste it right into your terminal. But the URL basically is towel.blinkenlights.nl. Now once you've typed it out and you hit enter, the screening is going to begin in just about a second or two. So this entire screening is built on ASCII and uses the telnet protocol. So I'm going to let you enjoy the screening for a little bit and I'm going to time lapse this. All right, so I'm going to leave the visualization just till here and I'm going to quit using the control C command. Okay, cool. So this was pretty cool, right? And if this didn't impress your friend, uh, you probably need to look for some new ones. So keeping the nerd spirit alive, uh, let's see how we can turn our regular boring gray terminal into the matrix visualization uh, and let's see the world using Neo's eye. So to do this, we are going to use the C matrix command and the usage is pretty simple. You just type in C matrix and hit enter and your terminal is going to be populated with a matrix like visualization. And this is almost similar to what you saw in the movies. If you don't get that reference, you should definitely check the trilogy out. 
cool so before my gpu starts screaming at me let's pause this and move on to the last uh, command for this post and closing off the series so let's clear out the terminal and close off on a very positive and motivational note so the smallest and the most powerful and uplifting word there is is probably the word yes yes has the power of enabling you to do the unthinkable and make you fearless so let's type in yes into the terminal along with a quote of our choice so i'm gonna go ahead with a rick and morty reference and let's type in the bird person code by rick which is wobble abba dub dub and let's hit enter now let me give you a disclaimer this is probably going to crash your system if you let it keep running so once you're done soaking all that positive energy make sure to hit the control c that would pause the repeated message and it would make sure that your system doesn't crash cool so that was all that we have for you in this video it was really fun flipping this series out for you people because this is something which we as a team at TechLila agreed upon was that when we were learning Linux, we didn't have a proper structured resource which we could refer in a step-by-step -step progressive manner. So if you like the format of this series, please let us know in the comments below or tweet it to us out. If the feedback is good, we're going to plan on more series like this in the similar format and we'll keep you notified via our social media channels. Also make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you do not miss out on any of the content. And if you like this, make sure to share it with your friends. So until next time, this would be me Pratik signing off. Have a good one everyone.